啪！the tits of y'all doing today oh boy so a long awaited truck oh damn freaking hot they've been running all day long awaited truck feed you for you we're gonna give you an update on the old bourbon and the old k20 so we got a lot of things done on these in the past couple weeks since we ain't had a truck video and uh thought we'd show y'all today so we got one thing done on the bourbon and we got a few things done on the old k20 so what should we show them first? Should we show them the bourbon first, dang? Let's go with the bourbon first. Right, yeah. Let's go with the bourbon yeah. first. I think you guys, this is something different. I ain't done nothing like this before. So uh, how about you hop in the passenger seat and we'll go take a look inside. Okie right. dokie. So, first things first. We got, man, it's hot up in this son of a bitch, dude. Woo. Yeah. Uh, we got a sound system done. First things first, let's check out the deck. No, not my dick, the deck! Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Sheesh. Here we go. Ooh, air's blasting. This is the Kenwood touchscreen. Wait for it. Wait for it. Here we go. So, we got the no, Sirius XM hooked up and everything. So this is the, the deck that we chose, all touchscreen and everything. Um, actually, let's go over here. I've got to change the equalizer here a little bit. I've got to turn that subwoofer up a little bit. Because we got two 12s up in that son bitch in the back. And then we got a 1200 watt amp under the seat in the back. That will show you guys how they mounted it. Um, we didn't do it ourselves. We could have, but it was faster just to have car toys do it. They did it in like freaking two hours. Yeah. Mm. So I'm going to turn the uh, subwoofer level up. That's good. I could already hear it. It's only a five. So, um, of course, doing YouTube videos on sound and shit, it's kind of hard because you guys aren't going to be able to hear. Let's crank something, man. How about how about we crank some of my favorite artists? What do you think? Yeah. You know who that is? Yeah. Old Outlaw. <laughs> <laughs> I apologize for my egotistical douchebagness. If you look here, you can control like everything on my phone. So I got my Spotify and, and all that stuff. So we'll go to my music here and it pulls it up on my phone. Pretty cool. Let's go to artist. Let's go down to ooh, let's go down to bottleneck and outlaw. <laughs> Boy, you were in your country. You damn right I'm talking to you. You were in your country. You don't do the shit with you. You were in your country. Woo, wow. You don't live out in the past. You were in your country. I'm not your shit, dear. I'm not your drinking beer. You out here with them bunch of Sounds good, man. All right, let's show y'all the amp before we get to the sub. All right, so I had to mount it under this seat here. And it looks pretty gosh dang. I think he did a great job, so let's take a look. Bam. Look at that. That's a Almost kicker. Almost like it's supposed to be there, man. That's perfect. I know, so he got it perfect in there. This scratch here was already there. It's not the seat scratch, but it was already there. I got this used. Not for very long, but clean. Just like I like it. I'm just kidding, I like it dirty. <laughs> and now, let's take a look at this freaking sub. Or subs, plural, apologize. Bam! There she freaking blows, ladies and gentlemen. It's in a base works freaking ported box, but then you got two uh, uh, 12 inch freaking uh, JL audio subs. So sick as dicks, man. Freaking love it. Banjo hates the sum bitch. <laughs> Look at him. 
he's all pissed off right now like i don't even want you to turn that thing on when he's in the back seat i can't turn it on because he freaks out and he jumps into the floor so um we didn't do anything with the door speakers right now i mean it sounds killer right now it sounds so much better than it did so maybe eventually we'll do something like that one of the main reasons we picked that deck in there is because uh it has a higher voltage output which brings up the sound on the stock speakers in the truck already which helps match the sound that these 12s are putting out right yeah so i think it's pretty dope as coat let us know what y'all think in the comments below and now it's time to check out the k20 look at that shit oh uh, can't see anything up there <laughs> yeah storms are coming all right k20 what the hell where'd the cluster go Dang, what the dick? So I ain't no cluster in there right now because uh, Dang's working on a son bitch. But uh, yeah, um, we'll show you guys the new cluster here in a second. But uh, let me pop the hood for you on. You can see what Dang installed underneath. All right, let's see what Dang did under here. Oh, all right. Here she freaking blows. I apologize for the uh, muddy motor. As you guys can see, there's some mud caked everywhere and stuff. But uh, look at that, man. It's looking a little different, a little higher. What we got is a, the company's HVH, high velocity, well, I don't even know if I should go that into detail about that because they're yeah. not sponsoring us or anything. All right. <laughs> Fuck em. Anyway, we got a two inch spacer here and it's a really nice design spacer where the four uh, bolts where the four barrels go in, they're like tapered. So they start kind of small and they, expand out and it just gives the feel and air more time to mix together gives you a little better mid-range power a little better idle pretty nice um and then we got this uh, throttle cable bracket and the uh, throttle spring new bracket here so it's all clean mounted up by the carburetor don't have a bunch of random springs going places and looking all nasty and then we then i went ahead and i uh, tucked the uh, spark plug wires so we're not looking at that ugly ass octopus hanging over the engine. <laughs> oh yeah, and then we got our Edmund headers in here. So we're not leaking exhaust all over our spark plugs like crazy. You can see they're already black down there. That's from when the old headers were on. But now it's all nice and sealed up. Chrome headers looking good with our aluminum and all of our polished stuff we got in here. So these headers here, we had Lucky order them for us and they I was asking for square port headers, right? Because we have like a perfect square head. So I'm like, well, we need square port headers, but we keep looking for them and there's only like, I don't know, we couldn't really find any. So we called Lucky and we're like, hey, we need square port because we had uh, D port before and it was leaking really bad. So Lucky, it takes a while for this company, not Lucky, but it takes a while for this company to send us some and they turned out to be circle port. And we got them and we're like, what the hell? We wanted square port. So what we learned is putting circle port headers on the square port heads is what you need to freaking do so uh, we put the gasket on there everything like that and it's perfecto so um new freaking headers new carb spacer new throttle springs we're good underneath the hood and then the last thing we told you guys we were going to do was the exhaust so before we had it straight piped out the back we wanted to do something a little bit different we wanted to go to a bigger pipe. These headers are actually going to a three inch collector. So we could do, we could run three inch pipe. And um, I guess we'll show you guys that right now. We just got it back from the shop. Let's freaking show y'all. All right, so here we are underneath the truck. We got our headers coming out right here. Three inch collector, like I said. And if you look right here, you can tell it's welded to our three inch pipe. The reason for that is because usually, you know, you'll go from a three inch collector down to like a two and a half inch pipe or something like that for with a reducer we didn't want to do that we wanted to keep the three inch we didn't have a flange or nothing we didn't expect to take this exhaust out at any time or something like that so we just had them weld the sun bitch on so they got that done both sides and it goes down right here two we went with the flow master Super tens. We asked you guys in uh, the last truck video to let us know what mufflers we should do, and most of you guys said super tens or super 44s. I like the super tens a little bit better, and because um, they're louder. And uh, so we went with the super tens, and then 
Did we have it go all the way out the back? And nope. We had it go right out the gosh dang side. We got our 14 inch chrome tip there. It's actually stainless steel. So it's not this chrome that's gonna freaking go. Oh yeah, and also if you see something leaking right here, it's the gas tank. Yep, and we got the exhaust going right underneath it, so that's great. <laughs> We're gonna have to take that gas tank out and figure that's that out. Catch on fire on the way home. <laughs> so uh, I think it's looking pretty sweet under here. It sounds amazing. We're gonna go ahead and start it up for you guys now, and um, really happy with it. Oh, and by the way, these pipes go out to four inch, so it's got a three inch uh, inlet and a four inch outlet. They're pretty dope. I'll give you a look. You got the tips cut at a 45, and uh, it goes right in line here with the fender. We start it up for him now? Yeah. Let's do it. Gladly. All right, start her up, dang. <laughs> Oh, that freaking hurt. I can't hear nothing. Woo! He did that to me earlier when we picked it up. <laughs> I was <laughs> right here and he, why? My ears started rattling. Oh. oh my God. So with it being said, I mean, we had the open headers on for like a week before we got the, the you know, cause we ordered the Flowmasters and crap ourselves. And uh, we were running with open headers and it was unbearable riding this thing in the freaking, in the cab. Like you couldn't hear nothing. So now it's a lot better and it's the freaking sound. I don't know how well you guys can hear it. I got my good mic on here. You know, when you freaking hear them on, on YouTube and crap, but they never sound like the, how it is in person, but it is loud as fuck. Doesn't quite do it justice on the, the old YouTube. Mm -mm. But before we were running the open headers, you know, we're in here sitting right next to each other, yelling, like trying to talk to yeah. each other. <laughs> Do you want to turn left up here? <laughs> what? <laughs> the loping sound is what I love the most. You hear that freaking cam loping, it's just <laughs> Gotta freaking love it, man. Now, if we went with the Super 44s, it would have been even quieter and probably even deeper. But uh, that's like the perfect deep, and maybe the tip helped a little bit with the deepness going from a three to four too. Um, but uh, sounds freaking perfect. It's exactly how I wanted it, so. We're ready to freaking go. Now, let's tell y'all what else we got to do. We got the cluster. Let's go ahead and show y'all the cluster really quick. I know we've showed you guys before, but let me just show you all the before and after. Oh, we just freaking cleaned the garage as well. <laughs> it is so much nicer in here. This mm -hmm. is our old cluster. It's the old one. Yeah, that's kind of what we had before. That's how it looked, ugly and original. No tack on it or nothing like that. We're going with a little better setup over here. Oh, it's a little dirty. It's a little dirty because it's still got the screen on it. Still got the little protective yeah. stuff on there, but it'll look better once we put it in the truck. But anyway, now we got our temp, small fuel gauge, oil, volts, speed, and attack. Yes. Which I think is very important when you're running a dang manual truck. So sure. you like to know where you're at. So now that's what we're going to have with the carbon fiber, nice red lines. You know, once it's in the truck, it'll look really good when it's all lit up at night and everything. Yeah, it'll be sweet. <sighs> what else have we got to show them in here? How about this? Hey, we're using our freaking pegboard. Look hey, at that. hey, finally. Too much, man. It's it's getting crowded up there, dude. I you think guys, we need to clear some space. You guys give us so much shit. Well, you guys freaking put that pegboard up, but you ain't freaking used it. Well, you know what? Finding pegs, we... uh we ain't gone on Craigslist and got a bunch of pegs yet. We're just too lazy to go up on that son bitch and do it. And yesterday we're cleaning up the garage. We're like, oh, we ain't got room for everything in my toolbox. And we're like, well, we get the pegboard, so we'll use that eventually. <laughs> eventually we'll get her done. I don't know. Yeah, man. Just freaking killing it. So we'll have more truck videos for you soon. I know you guys have been digging it. And uh, next one you'll see is on that little orange truck right there. 
And we should be. Yeah. Anyways, my name's Outlaw and I'm out, y'all. That's Dang, and he's got to Always remember, no matter what you're doing, 25, 8, 366, keep it freaking hell better. Holler! <laughs> I declare him to be an outlaw!